Uh, but all those remixes are just sad incognitions of what they... Oh, stop. Stop talking about that. Anyways, we're going to be heading right back to Town and City, though. No more attacking music because we now got a rock and cake uh, plan. The same song every time. Same one. They always, they always pick the same exact one. And uh, I got to say, last time we saw Del, she was confident. You know, she was just able to get Uzuga to deaths on point. And uh, she was just playing super safe and making it almost impossible for John to get in on her. I'm curious if we'll see a repeat of that last time and already kind of looking like it. Yeah, it, it is not looking as solid as it was the end of last game, but still pretty strong nonetheless. Getting a couple of big parries here. And just like that, that's going to be an up throw into Fogu. Good amount of percent onto the board already. And then Nambi's controlling the stage. Going to be looking for this next big hit. Find these parries, but, you know, God neutrally. That thing is so safe. It spaces itself. So you really got to be confident that you're in the right place to, uh, to get it. All right. Oh, God. And I'm really loving, like, the on St. John. Oh! And I'm loving that Robble. That's why I'm coordinating it. I think that's just like called ping pong. Huh? Anyways, Nambi's able to quickly slap back with his own uh, little death combo there. And Dill and John completely even. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Man, a zero to death almost happened. But it's still looking not that strong. She, she's going for it all. She's in a wrong place to do it, but she's like, ah, you know what? My side B is big enough. Maybe yeah. it'll connect. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> Just go all the way out there. Now in a really good position to be able to get this edge guard. Yeah. Gets the back hit of neutral. Nicely timed out of the numbies. Wow. Yeah, this is not looking good. Down tilt. Mm -hmm. Just jumps in and down tilts at that point. Now what is Dill gonna do to actually keep John stuck in the corner here? Jairo is just occupying so much space. Almost gets the snipe and that's gonna be yeah. it. That fair. was a start up before there. Yeah, fair. Getting that trade right there. And Town City having one of the small blast zones able to just finish it off right there. And we almost saw another zero to death. We might as well be seeing it because this string is lasting forever. 83%. Are these modified strings? I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's, it's like down throwing Jairo and I'm like, oh, I'm going to send you back up to the left side. And yeah. now you take 90%. This is like Tony Hawk Underground when you go in like freestyle mode. It's like, yo. <laughs> I've never played Tony Hawk anything, but I'm sure that's the case. What? <laughs> Neither to have I. <laughs> oh, and that's it. That's just going to be a side B in place catching numbies. Once again, there's not a whole lot that you can actually do about side B if you've already picked an option. Mm -hmm. All that you got to do is like wait if you think it's going to come and then you can get a punish on reaction. Otherwise, I mean, at this point, like, look at this. He snapped onto the ledge, and he he already pressed neutral yeah. get up. He hadn't reacted or anything, right? He buffered an option. So uh, he just has to hold that now. Sucks. Sucks to suck. What a game one. Wow. Yeah, real explosive. Dill is, Dill is on, like, the top of food game today. Yeah, this, as I said, this is, like, the reminder of old Dill, like, the return of the turn of the old guard. Yeah, we took it to the HO3K dominance. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to back up, like, seeing... Woo! Yeah, baby! Like, you know, with, like, John, second, like, uh, coming in from losing side, Dylan for his place, having an in-house grand finals, too. Yeah. Some people may say Kalu. <laughs> mm hmm Gets a dash attack there, maybe try to go for another option. Dill right now just trying to play back a little bit in no position to actually get Jairo out in time. Now, how does she land here? Uh, she finds, finds her way down. Yep. A few nares, but... <laughs> a few nares, just ends up going to the platform. It's nice and safe. Always, like, picking back here in, like, really good spots that Nubbles can't, like, punish the end live of, which is an easy to send them down. Oh, my God. That, dash attack on still. Yeah, and this is now looking so hard. John's favorite stage is definitely small battlefield. If anybody has been noticed by now. Yeah. Keeps on taking people back here. And now, though, she has not been able to get anything big going. That tossed up Jago is really important because it's able to put it out of play for a little bit. She is still able to ultimately pick it up, though. And that's exactly what matters. And has the good idea, but then just press aside B a little bit too late. Okay, yeah. Not going to spike her. Oh. But you cannot be behind Weefit. Most of her like best attacks or like strongest hits are behind her. Yep. So, That's still back to the center. Yeah. 
Oh, she tried to go for it again. She tried to get the back hit of the uh, Jaga into the up smash. I like the attempt. Up now has John off stage in a nasty position once again. Has the great idea, but then pulls the trigger a little bit too quickly. Yeah. And that might. Ooh. It doesn't have much of a sense right there. And again, Dill is just being forced up top. And this is where like people say Rob has like the worst part. It's like trying to land. It just gets really hard. Okay. Oh, that ambiguity and the recovery of Kim Jong was so good. He made that recovery work for him. He was as you know flexible as possible. And beautifully self salutation. Also catching a deal off guard. Huh, he's he's you know what? He's playing really solid. Yeah. Okay, another up tilt. Good job reacting to that roll. Somebody grab somebody. <laughs> They're both just jumping on nope. each other's shields over and over. Uh grab two committal, Dar. Yeah, absolutely too committal on this game. You are so right. But finally, she does find the up throw to be able to take out that first stock. But at 90%, she has a lot of damage uh, making yeah. up to do. Yeah. But we have seen her, like, go for, like, zero to death combos. So this is not out of reach. Yeah. All right. Both of them just walking up shield. Mm -hmm. That's how I love my neutral Dara. Can't we just gaze in each other's shield? <laughs> the past. That's how it has to be. <laughs> All right, going high. Really patient here. And the down to Gonjago actually uh, going to be dissipating on that up here. Now this is... What, what happened? How much damage did Numbies just take through that? Oh. And still eating another up here. Dill getting the back hit of it. So, still going? Wow. Stock is gone. One neutral hit. Several true hits that you have to just hold. And then a couple of hits in advantage. And that's all that it took to be able to close out that stock, but more importantly, evened up this game for Dill. Yeah, and if I'm Dill, I am confident. That's like, you know, one neutral direction, I just yeah. win. And if I'm John, I am sweating bullets. Good ca uh, catch on dropping the shielder. And now with Jago and play in sunny stage like that, you can't really get away with going please on Salutation, right? Because you're just gonna eat it up yeah. any day of the week. Now Numbers is off stage, stuck in a corner. She does not get the fast fall. I don't know if that was intentional. So, because she didn't get the fast fall, I think that's why she did the day, opted to do the dare in case John tried to do like a punish. <laughs> like early, they would be caught right there. So, like, kind of like correction to like your mistake. Yeah. And they both now just opt to go on the other side. Says none of neither person wants to commit because each other's advantage is so strong, as we saw. And oh. Dill's ready going out. This could be oh, it. And, and as I said, that is it. And the up B, canceling it onto the ledge and having enough time to get a back hit out. You're huh. Try to keep your that's, uh, I've not seen that before. Yeah, that's some um, actual Wii Fit stuff. Could she have done anything? Wow, that looked pretty true. Like, get clipped right here, enough time. Yeah, stone tumble. Yeah, wow. Huh. Oop. Oh wait, oh, is that the double jump? No, that was that was John's double jump. That's John's double jump. Yeah, no, she's still stuck in tumble here. And yeah. Just eats his back here. Off of one over commitment. I like the four leader that she went for off stage. Yeah. Uh, could have uh, been a side B. Could have yeah. been a back here, you know. I could have killed. I could have really aired out too. Because I think they were been they were all stage also for a pretty long time. So if there if there was an option. Mm -hmm. So going into game number three, we're, got, we're gonna get right back to town city. I'm Dill, I'm chilling because we saw like how much advantage she took out of this stage alone. Yeah. He loves it here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. GG's. Ultimate. Yeah. Cheer. Cheer for her. All right, push. Uh, numbers saying my turn, essentially, mm -hmm. trying to push their advantage. How do you come back to them? This is already like a one stock in, in you know, however many seconds. He just has to hold that. He needs to find a way to be able to slowly make this one back. The extended hitbox on the Jago is still going to be able to hit John in time. A couple of down tilts, a little bit too far spaced uh, for him to be able to connect the second one that, that she needed. Yeah, that was, that was really good. This is the death here. Oh, I like the idea to go for an air dodge, but maybe a little bit too soon. Yeah, definitely felt like really soon. Up tilt. 
up there. That she is speed gutting this game too. A three. Oh, but yeah. yeah. Spectre game, John one. <laughs> Bear gonna take it right there. From up uh, center stage, and but it's two stocks to one. Just dashing back and forth, Z drop nailing because you're gonna know what she wants. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, doesn't get it that time. Just goes for the adjustment one, and now that's John offstage in an equally awful position. This is it, this is Olu. Oh, well, got the platform to land, so reset the jump. Still makes it back on in time, though. Yeah, and John is at least alive, so at least has a fighting chance to make a comeback. You cover high and you get swatted by Fogu. You cover low and then you run the risk of running into down it. You cover at mid range and that's going to be side B waiting for you. Though it seems like she has like these ad cards on, on John pretty much floor charted. Yeah, and not just John, it just seems like almost everyone has suffered the same fate. Wow. That was, that was just dominance. Yeah. She was in control of the pace the whole time. She could kill off of a single offstage interaction in a way that John really could not match. And that sucks. Before we stop the early dodge, yep, that early dodge was everything. Yeah. Because now you got a lot of options at this point. Yeah. Tossed up the header, yeah. and that was it. And you gotta Z catch those. You can't like be throwing out the headers there. Because yeah. they're being called out so many times now. And look at this combo. Hmm. Alright, so going into game number four. Uh, Dill, I gotta say, that was a really, really confident one. The question is, can John successfully play away from this win condition and to keep on going back to town and city? I feel like Dill is taking so much advantage of how narrow the side glass zones are. Oh, man. If I'm John, like, what other stage can I go? Like, it's like PS2 still options. Like, something that yeah. would, like, benefit you without being such a small blast zone. It's really hard to say here. But now Numbi's really good chase downs. He gets a hit, he waits, he sees the early dodge, and then he's able to get the follow up. And he did that over and over, swinging along the goodie 52%. So this is looking like a much better game for him this time. Yeah, no, it definitely is. A really nasty position to be in. He is going to be able to successfully Z catch it. But now at what cost? Look at this juggle. Look at the position that he's in. Oh, oh no, no early dodge. Start. He's done. He's done. Oh, not yet. He should have been. Yeah. At least got a good reversal. Dill did flub. Up tilt. Yeah, she was kind of all out of landing options at that point. Ends up going to the side plat there. And John was just ready for it every single step of the way. So now, once again, though, John in equally awful positions here. Tries to go for a bit of a swat. Does not find it. Does not find it down either. And John getting ping ponged, but the gyro slipping away. Yeah, it is not looking good. Yeah, and Dow Smash not connecting. Oh, nice catch there with the directional air dodge. But she just can't seem to be able to close this one out. Yeah, it, like as quick as she was able to like steal socks, this game is just yep. seems like taking forever. Yeah. Just maybe wait for like a trying to be like a get up attack or something. Yeah. You know, you like you see Luigi's do that all the time just by sitting and shielding. They're like, oh, you hit my shield, up B. I guess it's like kind of the same case. Here. Now 52, 71%. We have seen Dell make these comebacks over and over. We have seen her ability and tenacity to kill at any point with which she so pleases. But the question is, can she land fast enough for this to actually become reality? Uh, let's see. We have a, fun, a lot of games still within us. Numbies is not letting her pick up the gyro at all because you know as soon as she does, she's gonna get so much reward off of it. Yeah. And now she's like baiting out some of these grabs for the gyro, right? Because John is tunnel visioning a little bit. He's like, yo, I don't want to get hit by this right now. I'm gonna go pick it up before you do. And she's just like sitting there waiting, sees the dash attack, and hits him for it. Oh no, she definitely is. Oh, dash back. Oh, that's gonna be death. Yeah, that's death. Oh, oh no! <gasps> the gyro Did she messer. know? The Did she know? She, she had to have known. She might have. Oh but my I thought God. we were gonna. Cause she knows. <laughs> she's she's gonna know. Alright, so they got the tech chase there. Has the right idea, but that presses up smash yeah. a little bit too soon. Alright, grab. 
portal off the eight. Dwells back on. Nambu is in a good place, fucking at the right time. This is a really like awkward paced match, I gotta say. This yeah. one, this one's a funky one. It's like uh, we, we had two super fast matches and then like this. Okay, I'll throw, get the quick 20%. I like that bit of a back way. You know, the second one is not really safe on hit. Though F tilt is going to be able to kill. And just like that, Numbies is back on in it. He is stuck at the ledge. Dill with no Drago in hand does not matter because she is swatting him away over and over and over again. Almost going to be connecting neutrally, but she faded in a little bit too much yeah. and ended up trading. Oh, Z drop. And that's it. Neutralo right. got the edge of the stage. They hit Neutralo. That's all that it's going to take. And that's going to be Dill. Xeno Saga, number 39 champion. Yeah, but not more job for her. Yep. He was just done. Neutralo into side B. Yeah. Really strong. I feel like everybody is like programmed at some point to be like, you know what? This is not like what I'm getting hit by. Like at, at the edge of the stage here, I know that every gob wants to hit this new trilogy. They want this full hop in new trilogy because this is how they actually kill me. Uh, but the Jago just kind of messed that up. That yeah. is like the day one gob thing that everybody knows not to get hit by. The pop off. And with that being said, that is going to uh, conclude Xeno Saga number 39. All right. So before we close, we're going to do one little ad read. Everybody, uh, you're watching this on the, of course, House of 3000 stream. You can go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and on YouTube. House is the premier production team for some of the Tri-States, New York's, and all of Smash's finest events. So uh, if you saw like a major recently and you're like, damn, that's some good production, House probably did that. All right. And if you like the gameplay today, this happens almost every Wednesday here at Xeno. Xeno Weekly's menu is $8, entry is $7 here at 21 Ludlow Street, New York, New York. Yep. Yo. Yeah, and finally, guys, coming on up in just a couple of weeks, you got Collision 2022. This is not an event that you want to miss out on. Go get yourself smash.gg slash collision. This is going to be big. It's going to have a lot of people at it. It's going to have a lot of really amazing competitors coming on through. You got MK Leo, Tweak, The Buzz, Spargo, Mars Light, and Meister. So just 15 minutes away from NYC. Not something that you want to miss out on at all. And with that being said, everybody, before we do close out, go ahead and follow my lovely co-caster, Reggie, at P.I. Yeah, P.I. P.I. underscore four. And where Somebody took the L in uh, play yeah. four. And you never take L, so that's why you don't have the new name. Of course. Oh, uh, you want to say something? Hey, Dill fans, I finally won something. I'm a Dill fan. Let's, fuck. let's, let, let, let's go. Yeah. Where, where they can find you before we say goodbye? You can find me at Dill Go both on Twitter and on Twitch. I play a lot of Elden Ring now. Lovely game. I'm having a good time with it. And also, uh, I talk about a lot of other Smash stuff. Otherwise, guys, hope everybody has a lovely night. We'll be seeing you guys Wednesday for the Xeno Weekly. And until then, stay safe. Uh, play some video games. And uh, have I don't fun. know. Just have, have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time, guys. Adios.